Welcome to another Rust adventure. And today, you guys wouldn't believe it, I'm not actually building near Large Barn. In fact, today I'm building by one of the most heavily contested areas on Wipe Day, and that is, there it is, Underwater Labs. Now this journey is gonna be tricky because I've got a long way to go. But you guys know me, I'm a solo grafter and I'm also a solo rat. So with it being four swipe, I'm gonna wrap my way to all the BPs. This is gonna be one hell of an adventure. Okay, I am one of the first on the server, so I can expect my uh, my start to go pretty smooth. But you guys know Rust. I'm not gonna lie, my hands are so shaky because it's four swipe. There's so much pressure. Oh, all right, just what I need: TC as well and tools. All right, let's go. This uh, this is a good start so far. I don't want to jinx it. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. Alright, the whole server knows I'm here now. Great. Made it to outpost. The plan is recycle, get everything I need, buy some metal frags, get a nail gun, and uh, yeah, and head to the build spot. We're about halfway there. Okay, marker set, nail gun ready. Let's uh, let's go. All right, okay. What are the odds? And it's got so much stamina as well. All right, we're nearly here. We've literally made it. Just gotta find somewhere out of the the safe zone radius. And guys, while I'm uh, while I'm building this base, I just want to say so far, if you're enjoying the video and you like that solo content of just your your average solo player, then please uh, consider joining the channel and uh, clicking the notifications button and that way you'll never miss out and you'll be around for the journey so yeah yeah i think i think i'm ranting I, I'm, I'm trying to concentrate and build but cheers guys okay that was smooth um not as stressful as i've had in some previous wipes we ran into a couple of people, but got the base down, the starter, and when it's fully built, oh my lord, it's going to be an absolute beast. All right, uh, at least now we're safe from flame raids. Let's see if anyone's actually found the Molly BP yet. It would be rude of me to live by the sea and not use this boat to get some quick components. Small quick runs because I don't want to get caught off guard and I really need uh, I really need as much scrap as possible. Alright, let's head back. Oh god the boat was stuck. Let's head back in depot again. So if you didn't know, which probably everyone does know, you can get a, a quick uh, tier 2 item from doing one of the challenges at the uh, fishing village, which is the pump shotgun, just for 10 crates to open. Pretty cool.
Right, that is probably enough uh, sea farming for now. You guys are probably sick of me just being on the boat. But is it just a quick way to get, you know, comps and, and scrap and, and low grade and blah, 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 blah. Hey, Fisherman Steve, how's it going there, buddy? Catching a lot of fishy. Oh, what the hell? Okay, I'll I'll take a free uh, free cross, crossbow and diving kit. Holy hell. I mean, I could do more jobs, but I'll save it in case I get desperate, I think. And that is uh, the first tier two weapon of the wipe. Let's go, baby. Made it home, safe and sound. Okay, the grind's been going good, but I got a lot more to do. Ah, uh, looks like this poor guy was just trying to get a shack down. I do feel bad, but rust is rust. Alright, okay, I am going to farm in the night. Um, I'm not sure you can do it since the new update. Hopefully they still have the, uh, the glowy things, because that would be pretty cool, because then uh, a lot of people would farm... dead what the hell is going on oh my god nighttime still oh my god nighttime still so stressful what the hell is going on outside of my base damn that is just sheer bad luck i'm coming out to farm in the night and there's a duo running past and a naked with an ayoka hiding those two guys are my neighbors anyway i've, I've seen them running out of a base but i'm gonna have to be a bit careful Okay, the grind has been slow. I mean, the only progress I've really actually made is in the sea. But I don't want to just end up with a box full of comps. I need blueprints. I need the Revy blueprint. I need to expand. I need wood. I need stone. I need everything. Oh my god, finally he dies. you got to ask yourself, was it really worth it? Was it? <laughs> oh, God. I'm done chasing players. I'm done chasing players for grids with a bow. God damn it. I'm just not doing it. Ooh, hello. Hello, two men coming this way. I might... I might try and win this. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, game. Okay. Yeah, oh my god, I'm running for my life. This is like my last bow. Look at how many arrows. There's like three. There's like three people shooting at me. Jesus. I can't even get a hit. Oh, oh my, it's a Tommy. I've got a Tommy bow. Oh, well, I got... <laughs> That is the cleanest crossbow kill I've had in a long time. But still, no Revy. In order for me to uh, progress, I really need a revolver. Oh, I'm, I'm 2 nil at the moment. I'm 2 nil up. Prim PvP, I'm on a two-kill roll, baby. I'll make that free. I'm unstoppable. Everyone's getting destroyed. <laughs> Oh my god, you know what? I'll take I'll take whatever loot. I am not bothered. What in satanism is going on here? This is a this is a weird area. I mean there's been too many tugboats close, so I'm actually gonna add one more door to the base. These tugboats have been getting me quite worried. Well, I'm not looking forward to the next part of the build after this because it's one of the most awkward, complicated bunkers that, that I've ever built. Safe and sound, baby. Okay, can you see what I mean? You open your front wooden door and you see that parking up close by. 
holy hell that is the second one that i've seen just in this area that is crazy okay i can't even farm a little bit of wood these days without being jumped by a i don't know how many there are yeah there's two yeah i can't even farm any goddamn wood holy hell this is rough Okay, I'm worried about progress at the moment. If I don't progress, I am going to get left behind. So, I need to... I, I don't know what the tactic is here. The ground fights are insane. And, and that's out by sea. How can I farm with that thing just there? Holy hell. Everything's locked at the moment. Okay, new strategy. Running into power plant naked in looting boxes. Let's see how that works. Oh god, the success rate of this mission has just fallen by 99%. Oh my god, what the hell is going on? I just need scrap. Yeah, this is wild. Yeah, this is this is wild. I'm in a I'm in a alone in Tokyo video right now. Holy hell, I think it's a 4v3 or a 4v4. Maybe I can get something. Yeah, maybe I can get absolutely nothing. How about that game? How about that? I get nothing again. With the larger groups controlling the sea and the land, it was almost impossible for myself to maintain any progress. So I decided to target closer players who were still primlocked like myself. Eco raiding, the wooden shacks, hoping for some small time profit. I'm going back to that uh, satanic group um, and I'm, I'm gonna try and clear them out of the area. Ah, uh, this is one of them here. This is one of them that lives here. No doubt, the three, there's three shacks, three solos. What the hell is going on? Ah, uh, he's back for round two. He's, he's trying to defend the shack. I respect the defense. Ow. Okay. That hurt a lot. But you won't stop me. Oh my god, leave me alone. Let me just ra eco raid your base. Oh, oh my god, I'm ass. I've suddenly turned ass at the game. Where is he? Where's he? Oh my god. Help me, game. Help me. This is what I've resorted to. Okay, I've eco raided a fisherman. That's great. Yep, it's confirmed. I've eco raided someone who catches fish. Oh my god, why isn't he farming for a base? Why is he farming for fish? Technically, you can call that an online raid. I know you guys are probably used to, like, tacular videos, but my videos are, are kind of different. Fisherman online raids. To be fair, the fish isn't that bad. I mean, it's not worth any scrap, but if I catch another salmon and catch another shark, I think that's like 150 scrap, maybe? All right, one shack down, uh, two to go. And he's there. This is this is the next victim. They're solos, but they're but they're playing together. Okay. <sighs> That's the revy I need. Okay, I know I said uh, the last uh, build bit. It was the uh, the bunker was next, but I forgot there's another foundation with a jump up. So I'm gonna build this and uh, hopefully get the bunker set up. Now you're gonna have to bear with me with the bunker because it gets real, real messy. Just gonna use the old furnace as a jump up um, and eventually I'll, I'll try and get the ladder hatch or maybe something a bit more secure. But for now, we've expanded a little bit and I feel a little bit more safe. But still, I need to do the dreaded bunker Considering I live by the sea, I think it's only right to have the blue theme. Um, just to go with everything. And I think that'll look pretty cool. I'm, I'm really into my skins. I don't know if you guys know that. Twig for a temporary uh, jump up. And I'm fe I, you know what, I've had a few losses, but I'm feeling good. 
Ever since I died from that Revy guy, uh, these guys who lived in the shack haven't been back. So I, I actually think that they've moved, which is really quite sad because I needed that Revy badly. Okay, it's my first time doing one of these uh, one of these kind of bunkers, so I'm gonna try and go as slow as possible, and um, so I don't get confused. But the amount of tugboats, PvP groups, and clans, I really need this uh, this bunker. Okay, here comes the 15 triangles in one square. I mean, you've all seen it before in different videos and doing it in the water. Oh my God, I, I'm already getting so annoyed by this. Luckily I got my diving stuff, but, but yeah, 15, 15 triangles, then one square. And I think I have to repeat this twice. Um, I'm not sure if it's called a pixel bunker. Alright, so when you build back, you want to be looking for these uh, these stones in the corner. That's that's how the bunker will work. If you don't get it, it won't work. Okay, I've realised how long this takes, so I'm going to skip the editing and just start from this bit here. And just tell you that I repeated uh, phase one um, and did it again. And now hopefully... If I place uh, two half walls here, and the stability is, I can't remember what number it's meant to be on this roof tile, but I think, I think this works. Let me just test it. I probably shouldn't upgrade it without testing it, but I think, I think it's all fine. Let me, let me see. Uh, let's see if it works. This is like my fourth attempt of, of this working. For some reason, it's, it's bugging out. Oh, I think it's worked. It has. Oh my God, it works. I think I went wrong with the half walls. And um, basically I had to demolish them and do them again while looking down. Um, but yeah, placing this uh, this roof here basically opens the bunker so I can just seal it. But yeah, I think I went wrong with the half walls. So when you do the half walls, uh, look down because I think I attached them to the wrong to the wrong build. I'm, I'm not very good at explaining this stuff. What I'll do is I'll 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 attach the description in the video of the actual uh, the bunker that I'm doing, so you guys don't have to don't have to try and try and do what I'm doing. Holy hell! Okay, we'll just give it one more test run. All right, okay, yeah, I've got it. We have a bunker. Oh my lord! I am not gonna get raided. I have a bunker. This wipe is still savable. This wipe is still savable. Okay, the next uh, to-do list is to sort this loot room out because this is atrocious. I, uh, I apologize, you guys, but I'm about to I'm about to change the loot. Well, fix the loot room, the core room. Oh my god, how much better does that does that look already? Shelves are just so clean, man, so clean. Alright, I think it's time for a loot inspection. Show you guys what I've got. Bearing in mind I'm about 6,000 hours into day one so far, so I'm pretty damn poor. But that's all gonna change. Okay, I've been cooking on an idea. I know nothing about... about hemp and, and planting and all of that stuff but I'm low on cloth so I'm gonna try I'm gonna try and give it a go I need some uh, I need some hemp seeds so I'm gonna go into the local forest pick some seeds try and find a good one off the bat and start growing my own cloth so I don't have to worry about it okay I think the hemp farming can uh, can wait at the moment there's a group of I don't even know how many there are there like four or five raiding i think it's time to seal the bunker they're raiding so close to me 
then surely that means I'm next. Definitely need to seal the bunker. Uh, I can't place the bunker from from below. I have to, I have to go above. Well, that's that's fine. I need to fit this uh this sheet door anyway. But I need I need to get a move on. If they're if they're on a raiding spree, just roam raiding, I'm I'm surely surely so close to to being raided. Okay, I think it's time to cash in on the fish. Um, I can get plenty of scrap from it. And with the fishing village next door, it, it just seems right. Okay, five minutes later, and that's a, a shark and a, a salmon. So I think that's 150 scrap. So we're, we're, we're getting there. We've used the old, uh, the old role player tactic. Ah, uh, look who it is. It's the guy who Shaq I raided, I think. It's the, they've clearly moved anyway. But yeah, like like I thought, that Revy's gone. I'll, uh, I'll find one eventually. Hello, who is this guy? Just creeping outside my base. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what he's got. Please have a Revy. Please. All right, he's dead. He has a teammate. I don't know where his... Where's his... Oh, there it is. Give me the crossbow. I need everything. Ah, uh, only a little bit of stone and sulfur. I'll take it. Okay, that is the end of day one. Unfortunately, four swipe is quite late for people in the UK. But tomorrow I'm going to wake up nice and early and get the blueprints that I need to get. The base is down. The bunk is set up, so uh, so yeah, tomorrow tomorrow is going to be a good day, so stick around. Upon editing this video, I realised disaster had struck, not in the form of being raided, but worse, a corrupted file from the first clip of day two where it shows I'd won two fights, finally gaining the Revy blueprint. This corrupted file deeply saddens me, but in the grand scheme of things doesn't ruin the story. So I apologize for this story having to divert. Oh my god, I made one play against these guys and took one Revy and they've been door camping me. Those freaking neighbors from, from yesterday are on so early just like me. This is uh, this is going to be a pain, but uh, I'll, I'll deal with it. Oh my god, leave me alone. These guys are just something else, man. All right, here we go. I'm going to let him in. Oh, my God. What? Just think, losing one Revy and uh, look at them. This is crazy. All right, I've kind of sec uh, secured the front, but these guys are, are so angry. I just realized I never locked the top door. Oh, my God. I'm a mess. So day two has started good so far. I woke up, I got the Revy. There you go. Um, I, uh, I killed a, a guy with a jackhammer. Um, I've got the farm started, I've got the water going, and it's, uh, it's going nice and smooth. So I'm enjoying day two. Already making a lot more progress than, than day one. But these goddamn neighbors have been running underwater labs and door camping me ever since they lost their Revy and their, uh, and their jackhammer. I am really free winging it at the moment. I have no idea if that is a good seed or not. Um, I, I need I need my friend Bank to help me. I have no idea about crossbreeding as well. I'm just literally praying to get some cloth out of this. It might not even be worth it. I might, I don't know, we'll see. I've been hiding on my base for long enough from, uh, from the door campers. I think they've probably got over the Revy death. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna adventure out finally and uh, try and get some try and get some loot. I mean, I've got the Revy. The next step is the the tier 2 and the tier 2 guns because the base is still very weak despite the honeycombing. Hello.
Who is this guy? Has he just got a nail gun? What the hell? Oh, I can't hit a shot. Oh, okay. I might win this. Please, one more. One more hit, please. Oh, my God. I don't deserve to win this. I don't deserve it. He's not dead. One more. Oh, my God. Finally. Holy hell. All right, let's see who it is. It's the door campers. And they've brought me Amazon delivery. Holy hell. That feels good. After being door camped for so long by them, they are running over. They live literally at next door to me in a, in a two by two. And they've been running labs all day. Oh, that feels good. I mean, I'll take the, uh, I'll take the comps and I'll take the uh, couple of nail guns and a bow. I mean, it's going to help out eventually. Because I need to uh, need to snowball. I need to craft some revies actually. Okay, just going through my contacts and checking everyone out. That is the guy who I got the revy from. And uh, these other guys here are my neighbours with the uh, with the crazy names who who absolutely hate me for taking the revy. But I need to get I need to get a tier two. I need to get a tier two gun. I need the garage door. There is so much that I still need. So. I'm going to try and loot um, Power Plant while it's quiet and while my neighbours have have, uh, have calmed down a bit. Oh, God damn it. I've been baited. Oh, binoculars can get a good view. And check out that base that got raided yesterday. Yeah, almost fully decayed. Maybe some juice still in there. Millie crate. All right, I'll take the I'll take the tech trash and uh, take it for scrap. More tech trash. Let's go. All right, a quick 120 scrap from power plant. If I can get a few quick runs of these in before the server pop wakes up, I should be I should be on track for a tier two. But there's still lots of things I've got to research. Home sweet home. God, it's looking good. Since I uh, expanded the front and expanded the top and added some honeycomb, I feel a lot more secure, even though most of my doors are still wooden doors. 160 scrap, and I'm still like three, 300 from a tier two. Then I've got garage door, then I've got any guns that I get, you know, to research. I need a lot of scrap. This, uh, this wipe is tough so far. I need a miracle. I have no idea what any of this means. Holy hell, are these going to start crossbreeding? I mean, one of them is quite a good clone. It's got one red, but I just don't have a clue what to do. Considering I've just looted power plant, um, my next local monument is mining outpost. So I'm going to run over there, hit some barrels on the way, open some crates, and hopefully bring back some more scrap. Alright, that's 80 more scrap. So that brings us to uh, the 300 mark. So, not too bad. I mean, 80 scrap and some free wood. I'll, uh, I'll take it. But now I've got to get the hell out of here. Okay, my maths are a little bit wrong. 250 scrap. So far away from a tier 2. This is turning out to be one hell of a grind, man. Right, it's time to uh, to expand the front a bit, and uh, I've watching the YouTube video of what I'm meant to do for the base, and it's so wacky. I don't know if it's uh, if it's good or bad, but I'll let you guys decide. Let me know in the comments what you think about this uh, this next part I'm about to build. It is is really unique. Okay, I, I, uh, I'm not too sure on the front. I'm meant to put a door on there and it's meant to be like a little hidden uh, hidden loot room, but I'm not 100% I'm not sure about it. 
but we'll we'll see when it's finally done what it what it looks like. Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. I've managed to turn a one seed with one red to. Uh, the, oh, there's my good seed. That's my good one. But I don't know how to get rid of that red. That red from it. I I might give up with this uh, this cloth thing. It's clearly not working. Maybe that can be my next video. All right, building in the dark is still a little bit rough, but I have to get this uh, second layer of honeycomb in order to get the next stage of the base done. All right, honeycomb to the second floor done. I mean, with the new night system, you can see in the dark, but building is still, it's still a pretty uh, pain in the ass if I'm, if I'm honest with you guys. Ah, uh, there's the neighbors coming back from, coming back from labs. Labs, even though it's uh, so early in the morning, on force wipe it's so hard to do labs so probably when it gets a little bit quieter then I'm gonna uh, attempt to finally do labs but I know it's not gonna be easy okay that is another power plant run done the amount of tech trash from that run was absolutely disgusting 150 scrap we're, we're getting there people we're getting there I know I've been grinding a lot this morning but Trust me, when the PvP comes, it'll come. Another tip for solos, you've probably heard Wiljam say it loads, but just have a bag close to uh, close to like mining outpost or something like that so you can quickly run in, get some loot and quickly bring the scrap home. There you go, a quick 100 scrap. And we're at a tier two now. I just need, I just need guns. I need, I need the server to wake up. It's still about 9 a.m. in the morning. So it's still very, very quiet. But this grind has been, has been so good. I'm so much better now than when I logged off yesterday. Right, I'm risking the pumpy to, uh, to try and find some PVP. I need, you know what would be ideal? A SAR or a P2. That's, that's the blueprints that I need in order to uh, to progress. But I can't see barely anyone out. Come on, 9am people, where are you? Ooh, hello. Hang on a minute. Two guys door camping. They have guns. Uh, I think one is a P2. Let's, uh... oh, okay. All right, I'm a bit nervous. Just have to wait for the right time to strike. Hopefully... They open the door and they get into a fight. All right, okay. All right, it's now or never. I've got to clean up this fight. One dead. Oh, I've got it. Oh my God. Oh my God, they're loaded. They're loaded, P2, P2. More meds. I, I gotta loot and scoot. I've gotta loot and scoot and get the hell out of here. There's more guns though. Ice pick, I need that. Another P2. Another Hazzy. I think I've got three P2s. All right, I've, I've two P2s. I'm sure there was a third one. All right, I gotta, I just, there it is. Get it? All right, I've got to get the hell out of here. Three P2s, let's go. No. 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 Uh, he must have lived so close to be back that fast. I just didn't see that coming. I mean, I was a little bit slow with looting, but how he got back so fast and just double headshot me or whatever he did. I'm so sad, man. 
I am so sad. This is a, uh, this is tough. This is tough, people. Yeah, they, I lost everything. Oh, well, GG to that guy for for running back. I hope he wasn't the duo. I never like. Uh... Oh my God, yeah, they're fighting. Uh, I just haven't got any bags close. There's, there's no point, man. I'm so sad. I can't believe I've put this off for so long, but it's time. Oh, it's time to uh, research the Revy and the Pistol Bullet. I probably, I probably should have done this a long time ago. So, hopefully things, uh, things get a bit better now. But this is the true solo life, people. It's not all posty, Aiden blueprint, you know. Ah, oh, anyway. The solo life is hard, but there's two types of solo players, one who dies and gives up, and the other who hangs on to hope and eventually is rewarded from his persistence. I think you guys know which one I am. Right, I've crafted a Revy, this is a game changer. I am, I am going to grub. I can feel it. I've died too many times just to finish a video with, with tier one, tier one guns. It's gonna happen, people. I've just heard a train pull up at the tunnels. This could be my moment. Please, God, please. I have to be so sneaky and not make a noise. I know he probably can't hear me, but I don't think you guys know how bad I need this. I can't hear anything. I don't know if he's creeping around or he's left. I'm, I'm not too sure. I'm just going to go AFK. I can hear the lift coming up. He's coming up. All right. Please, crossbow Revy, please. Oh my god. P2. Oh my god, he's loaded. He has a tier 2. He has a tier 2. Oh my god. I'm a, I'm a rat. I am actually... I'm a tunnel rat. I am panicking while looting. I am panicking. I just gotta go. I have gotta go. Oh, oh my god, scientist. The scientist needs to leave me alone. I've saved the wipe. I can see home. I've saved it. Oh my god, it's so crazy because not that long ago, I was messaging Bluebubs, who's on the same server as me, telling him that I might give up. That I've had... Oh my god, look at the loot! Oh my god, I need to. I need to send a screenshot to Bluebubs. Holy hell. Okay, forget the... Uh, forget the farm. I'll do it for another video. For now, I need my tier 2 down. Holy hell. Uh, I'll do it. I'll do a farming video next video or the, or the video after. I just need to learn more about it. But for now, I have wrapped my way to a tier two and the P2 finally. Oh my God, this this video has been saved. If you guys have stuck with me this far, thank you for sticking with me because that, holy hell, that was, that was stress. All right, sorting this loot room out is is a, is a pain, but I am so happy that, that I managed to pull that off. I'll research the P2 once I've finished, uh, finished sorting the loot out, and this video is officially saved. This is now the start of the snowball. With the P2 by my side and a tier two, everything is gonna be fine. Just need to grab some, uh, some wood to get the furnaces going and craft some more boxes. Oh, there's a, there's a guy farming wood. And he's on a horse. Is he living in this base next to me? I have a new neighbor. I think he's solo. I might, I like making friends with solos. I might try and try and ally with him because I mean, he is, he seems quite poor and I don't like to fight neighbors who are literally on my doorstep. I'm gonna go say hi. Hello, my friend, are you solo? Hey, hello. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Let's, uh, let's team up. Oh, yeah, I live at that one. Uh, I live at that one just there, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, bye. That guy seems like a guy seems like a nice dude. I mean, he is duo, which I uh, I didn't quite know, but it will make life a lot easier farming wood next door anyway. Okay, the comps box is good, but the gun box is uh, is a bit of a shambles. That is crazy. I did not know you could place a research bench um, in front of a 
inside of a door. That must be that must be a new a new update. Right, my rule is when playing Rust, any kind of play that you make that's uh, quite a big play, uh, expand the base straight after. So this base needs uh, needs another level to it, and uh, and yeah, I feel a bit more safe because the the longer we play, the more explosives everybody else gets. Right, that is uh, that's the next level of flooring done. Um, I pretty much have to do the shooting floor after this, and the base is uh, the base is pretty finished. I mean, it's not the most tanky base that I've ever built, but it's probably by the time you see the completion of it, it is definitely one of the most unique bases I've ever made, which is uh, which is really cool. Still need to set up the the vending machine as well. Alright, hopefully the vending machine is going to help us with our scrap problem and also our blueprint problem, so I'll come back later and check on it. But I've got, uh, I, I love doing, I love doing trades and vending machines. It's the, uh, it's the role player in me. Alright, time to, time to roam. I still haven't got the SAR or the Tommy BP, which I desperately need. Oh, two guys pushing my way. I've got a grenade as well. You know what that means? Oh, they're fighting. Oh, one's AK. Holy hell. Alright, please, Rust Gods, let this hit. An AK would be awesome. Please. Ah, no way. I'm dead. Oh, yeah. I'm dead. Oh, I don't know why I jumped that. Ah, okay. The search goes on for a tier 2 gun. This is fun. Um, okay, I've spawned in my bag just next to my neighbor's base. They might think that, they might think the guy throwing the grenade in the revy, I, they might think he lives here, which, which is, they might think I live here, what? I'm so confused. Oh, they've, they've raided him. He's got no sheet doors, so they've just raided that base. No way. I may have just got my neighbor raided. That is that is unfortunate. That's not my fault. All right, let's see if they uh, they left anything. I know it's a little bit ratty because it's my neighbor, but um, nah, nothing really. I think he was quite poor. Yeah, barely anything. There he is, fast asleep. Poor guy. Ooh, TC. They've not destroyed TC, and I have fire. Uh, I have fire arrows in base. I can run back. I don't think they had anything to break the TC, so they've left it. But uh, I'm a, I'm gonna take the loot now. Oh my god. Okay, come on. Oh my god, TC's loaded. Holy, and I need that sulfur because I plan on uh, raiding the uh, the underwater labs boys who uh, caused me some trouble earlier. They're gonna be so confused when they come back. TC's gone, and also the guy they killed in base isn't isn't the name they're expecting. They're expecting my name, and I can hear them outside as well. I can actually hear them. I literally got back just in time. That is so funny. I mean, they didn't miss out on that much. The sulfur's pretty nice, and the metal is as well. But that is that is just so funny. I'm such a rat. I really am. 
All right, some time's passed since I uh, since I've been laying low, and I found a I found a shop. I found a few shops actually, but there's one in particular that's selling an electric furnace. Uh, where is it? Here, selling electric furnace for only 450 sulfur. Now I can farm that and get that. And an electric furnace, as we all know, is a solo's best friend. Oh my god, I can't reach. Don't tell me it's a shop that I can't reach. Oh, I got it. Alright, let's go. Electric furnace. No more wood farming. Oh my god, this is huge for wipes to come. I'm uh, I'm happy I uh, I got this. It's definitely going to help with uh, with raiding my neighbours who have been doing labs like all day. I've got a bit of sulfur spare anyway, but, but now it's just going to speed production up by like a thousand percent. I mean, if it wasn't for four swipe, I would have had this done a long time ago. But you don't understand, some blueprints are just so hard to get hold of. Unless you're just so lucky with with uh, milli crates and I've had quite a few from uh, power plant now the design I'm going for with the roof is uh, a shooting floor that's quite expensive if I'm honest with you but I do actually really like it and every base kind of needs a shooting floor I'm not saying I'm a roof camper I'm just saying you need a shooting floor for every base just in case uh, you need to uh, you need to roof camp a little bit All right, this is definitely my balcony. Uh, I need a balcony. You build by the sea, you need a balcony. I don't care. Right, she's finished. I don't know why I can't place a, a foundation there. Uh, maybe it's because of the bunker, but but yeah, this is this is looking beautiful. I think it's time to attempt my second labs run. I'm not sure about this. Well, I lost a pumpy earlier in the wipe to labs, and I'm probably going to lose another gun. All right, we're looking good so far. Maybe not. <laughs> All right, okay. Okay, labs. Okay, game. Ah, take two. Let's go. Okay. Well, I'm not dead. That's a start. They've probably left, but I'll grab some loot. All right, to compensate me... For the the loot I've lost while trying to do labs, this will uh this will have to do. It's funny that building next to labs, this is day two, and it's my first successful labs run. Holy hell, that monument is just too easy to camp. Bear in mind what I've just brought back to base is literally the scraps of uh, of labs. That is actually insane that that is the scraps. I'm going to risk it for a biscuit and I'm going to take some tech trash and I'm probably going to take the fuses with me to recycle. If anyone's wondering why I'm sneaking so much, it's because I need the scrap so bad. Someone's here. What are they doing here at night? Oh my god, I don't know how I've killed him. I just saw a tiny glimpse of the green uh, the green night vision goggles. Yeah, night vision, I knew it. Oh my god, I just saw a tiny glimpse of the green. I'm I'm not recycling. I am out of here. This guy will be running back. He will be mad if P2 killed a Tommy. The silencer and the, the Tommy BP, and even the night vision BP, they are huge. Um but again, I, I didn't recycle anything. That's the problem. I have stuff I need to research, but no scrap. All right, I have waited out the night time. I'm going to try and run it again at power plan. It is a bit risky, but I need the scrap. I need it, man. I need it bad. 
so far so good it's definitely quiet and quieting down in the area and that is a lot of scrap i'm recycling all right oh my god i've got to get this back that will get me straight down to the garage door and then i can just buff up no way no way no way i don't even know that name if i'd have brought the tommy out i might have won that oh my god i've got to go back that's too much scrap to just throw away that guy just got loaded from me god damn it i'm actually so sad i'm not gonna lie 350 or 60 scrap i'm so sad uh he's long gone but i mean we can we can make it back and gargo's right there Hey, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go see who's on cargo. I can see one guy on the top there. I'm gonna give him a little wave. Just tell him hello. Hopefully, all right. He's not friendly. I waved in like a millisecond. He uh, he shot at me. These players, man. Yeah, screw you, dude. I was a being all kind and waving, and you were shooting back at me. Screw you. Oh, okay. Oh, I sold stuff in the shop. That that scrap that I lost doesn't even matter. I have enough now for the the garage door. Let's go. Oh my god, it's such a relief to get enough scrap for the garage door. And I have the window as well. I've had wooden bars at my front door for like 24 hours. That is that is crazy. Oh my god, I'm more excited about that window than I am the garage door. That window was a pain in my ass. Thanks to the electric furnace, um, I have enough metal now to pretty much sheet metal everything. Making this base uh, super tanky for a solo player. Alright, I also have a question. Why don't people upgrade the, uh, the wall frames for garage doors? Because... People blow the wall frames, so I don't get why they leave them stone. I, I don't know. I'll be honest with you guys, I've been toying with a roof design for a while, and I don't quite know. I don't like the look of it all just sticking together, so I think I'm just going to go for uh, two triangle roofs and then lower the rest of it. I think that will look clean. Yeah, I've got a good feeling about this. I mean, it's not the most like ideal roof, but it looks pretty cool. A little makeshift bed. I don't have uh, the locker or the bed BP. I don't know if I'll if I'll get it to be fair, because um, I'm running out of playing time. But a bed and a a bed and a box will just will just have to do now for a, a little bit of raid defense. Well, if I'm lucky enough. And there she is. I pretty, I think I did an okay job. She looks kind of scuffed, but for a solo, she can definitely handle a few rockets. Still no Tommy or still no Sar BP. So I'm off to power plant, uh, mainly to recycle, but if there's any Tommy or Sar players there and I manage to kill them, holy hell, that would be good. The coast looks, uh, looks clear at the moment, which is kind of bad. All right, I'm being roof camped from Narnia. What the hell? Oh my God. And there's no players here because the roof campers are shooting into a monument from, he's out of render. No way. The guy's out of render and he's bolting me. That this game is just absolutely disgusting. Ooh, hello P2. He'll probably uh, he'll probably make his way into into power plant. Yeah, he's farming barrels. Oh my god, I'm a rat. Free P2, thank you. Here he comes. Oh my god, I nearly whiffed. Holy hell, I nearly whiffed. Hey, look at that. I'll recycle this stuff and I'll uh, I'll take the scrap. That's if I. Uh, as if I get back alive. 
130 scrap and some comps. I'll definitely take it on four swipe. Oh my god, wolf. Go away. I'm trying to get back home. No way. No way have I triggered it. I oh my god. And I've triggered the other one. I, I might die for... I might oh my god. Oh my god. There's another wolf. They're everywhere. I could die. Oh my god. I'm nearly dead from wolves. That's crazy. Oh, there's one here as well. Yeah, fuck you, wolf. That one's not even aggroed and I'm just... Fuck you. Wow, Dropbox is, uh, is kind of stacked. I'm not going to lie. Thank God I made it back. Them wolves uh, nearly ruined everything. We finally have working furnaces in the base. Oh my lord, thank god for that. That was rough. I can imagine other solos are struggling for garage doors and electric furnaces, so I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and sell a few. Alright, I've been AFK for like a couple of hours. Just wanna check the shop. Holy okay, let's go. I've sold so much. Wow, vending machines are OP. The quest continues for a SAR or a Tommy. Come on, game, help me out, because this is killing me. It's killing me. Okay, train's pulling up. And there's fighting outside as well. What the hell is going on? I think they might be coming into the tunnels. I think I, if I pull up and camp, I can get a gun out of this. Oh my god. Oh my god, my heart's racing. Holy hell, the SAR, the last of the blueprints, what I need. Well, not the last, but one of the main blueprints. Oh my god, I need to hide. I'm just gonna heal in here, because I can hear, I can hear people, my heart is pounding. Oh my god, someone got grubbed. Someone was in the tunnels. There he is. I can catch him. Oh my god, I nearly whiffed. I'm gonna, I swear to god, I am gonna have a heart attack any minute. I just need the SAR. I don't care about a Tommy. I need the SAR. Holy hell, that's my neighbor. Oh my god, I made it. That is the SAR BP. It's taken me two days to finally kill someone with a SAR. Oh, holy hell, I can breathe. That was, uh, that was crazy. Time to check the, uh, the vending machine. And would you look at that. I swear to God, electric furnaces and garage doors have been selling like absolute crazy for me. Now with the SAR finally researched, I am going to focus on satchels and raiding. And my neighbours are the first target. I've just went to get some food and I've heard the drone flying. Ah, uh, and it just keeps selling. I just keep selling stuff. I have gained maybe, I'm not even joking, maybe about 700 scrap from a... Uh, from selling garage doors, electric furnaces, that and a couple P2s, that is crazy. Now just to speed up a few events people, I, uh, I ended up talking with my neighbor and making an agreement with him to join teams. Little did I know he was in a seven man already. And some of them people, if you remember, were some of the demonic uh, people living in the, the huts that I tried raiding earlier. But anyway, to get Satchel, I needed the Satchel BP. So I went to trade it with one of the neighbors, driving a boat to meet him in a mutual location and then driving back to base to find the researcher. All this was building up for the final scene of this wipe while I would raid the door campers and the people who had been running underwater labs all day yesterday and today. But was this raid going to be straightforward or would it be something that I'm familiar and used to? Alright, so I'm going to need 10 satchels to... Uh, to get through one of the walls and I pretty much in my base with my sulfur I have enough all right bean cans are crafting it's make or break baby this is my last play of the wipe all right all set I've got satchels ready I've got stuff to seal ready I've got 10 satchels ready I'm expecting this base to be absolutely loaded and this is a little bit of solo revenge so let's go According to my calculations, where I'm about to hit, just here, 
is uh, is the TC. So if I blow the foundations, then everything's gonna collapse and I can just seal. Fair. I'm nervous. Here we go. Last one's down, we're in. And I think I think I was wrong with my calculations. That's not TC real. But don't worry, I, I think I've got I think I've got like four or eight satchels that I can make in the base. I just need to be quick in case of counters. All right, GP is cooking. Um, I am worried that there's now people out there who are looking for the booms. So uh, I'm quite paranoid. I don't want to lose this raid. I can tell it's absolutely juiced. Uh, you are joking me. I just saw a guy. I'm not sure what he's got. I'm not sure what. This is going to be a nightmare. Oh my. I'm, he's pretty peeking me. He's AK. Okay. I, I see like three of them. Oh my god. If they If they find out where that raid is. I mean, I've lost this. If they find the raid, I need, I don't know. Oh my God. Oh. I can't even peek. Oh, each time I hit them once, they hit me twice or three times. And I've only got, I've, I've got plenty of meds, but this, this is rough. I'm gonna try and go up on the roof and get a get a better angle. But there's there's bolties, there's AKs. I think there's even four of them now, if I'm honest with you. Oh, they're raiding it. They found it. They're finished. They're getting the raid. Oh, why is there a four man that are just roaming? In 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 taking my raid. Oh my god. I gotta I gotta go push this. This is suicide, but I gotta push it guys. Yeah, they knew I was coming. They were waiting for me. Uh, I I've lost the raid guys. I apologize for these guys and my lack of planning. Oh, oh god. This is a. This is one way to end a video. I'm telling you. And this is what shoulda, coulda, woulda really means. I can imagine this base was absolutely loaded and probably would have given me all the scrap and components that I needed for the rest of the blueprints. But I mean, I've got the basics, and I'm not. I'm not sad about the wipe. Time to seal up and and call it time. It's been it's been fun. It's been a pleasure. And I hope to see you guys for the next video. I just wanna do a special thanks to all the members. Rascal, Goose. Oh my god, I can't remember the rest. Let me let me go get the list. Alright, I've got the list. I'm making it sound like it's massive, it really isn't, but thanks to Rascal, Goose, Slits, Max. Fighting Coward, Valentine, Marco Polo, and Red August. You guys are awesome. If you're interested in joining a, a membership for the channel and receiving all the benefits, it's only 99 cents. So, yeah. Cheers, guys. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.